sweet toe puree today, lush llamas and smashing rockery. The mind bottles, is not it? Do you remember Jackie magazine? That was my favourite. I do. It was quite racy back in the day. Dear Kathy and Claire, their problem page was outrageous. I oh, know. I tried to convert you to people's friend, but you weren't having it. Come on, Jack. Stop dawdling. Who's Hello. Hiya. Now then, what can I get you? He fancies one of them pens what writes in two different colours of ink. Here we are. There we go. Thank you. Oh, good boy. Well, good lad. <laughs> right, what do I owe you? No, put your money away. It's a little present from Auntie Rita. Oh, thanks very much. Right, we'll have to love you and leave you. We've got to leg it back to school. Oh, well, on your mark, get set. Go! Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Run, 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 run. Thank you. <laughs> Ciao, bye. bye. Oh, it's not easy. If things had worked out differently, I'd have been Jack's mum. Now, you'll only upset yourself thinking like that. You know, I look at him and my heart goes out to him. A child without a mother, it's so sad. Nearly as sad as a mother without a child. Jenny, you will keep your distance, won't you? This is rubbish. Cathy's left half the filling out. Oh, don't be sit down. There's no ham in it, no cheese, just greenery and... Well, uh, that's because it's a salad sandwich. Salad's not food. Do you want me to have a look? <clears throat> if you want. I've got to get some more tools. Oh, look at my bum bag. Five ninety nine bum bag rama. I beg your pardon. You paid five ninety nine for that piece of tar. Someone in this room nicked me tenner. Not get another penny out of me. You do right, Beth. Better to be safe than sorry. We should get some security sorted. Like CCTV. Mm, can't see him coughing up for that, especially my dad. Paint bombs. What? Stick it in your bag, and when the thief puts a hand in to grab your purse, boom. Boom. It explodes. Showers everything in paint. Well, everything including the bag, presumably. Yeah, along with everyone within a five mile radius. Might be overkill. It's a disgrace. We shouldn't have to work alongside a thief. Some people have no shame. There you go, mate. All right, cheers. How's it going? Good, yeah. will not do for me. No? Nah, I've never been good at taking orders. I'm a free spirit, me. Same goes. Picking Robert's brains out. I'll be better than him one day. The man with the plan, I like it. Right, that's me. Gonna knock off, get a couple of cheeky cans. Don't work too hard, will you? All right, Si, how'd it go? Well, the counsellor's all right, really. Oh, praise indeed. Right then, go on, get your footy kit and get to footy practice, eh? See ya. See ya. So how'd it really go? Well, put it this way, I think his dad's ears were probably burning. Yeah? Yeah. It's all about how he's an alcoholic, how he was never sure whether he was going to get nice dad or scary drunk one. Sounds like he's making progress. Well, I'm not going to crack open the champagne just yet. Still only takes the slightest thing to set him off. Got to stay positive, Lee. Yeah. Oh, go, just give us a kiss. I'm just nipping to the shop to get some biscuits. I'm having a bit of a sugar dip. If you want to get one of them candy necklaces, then you can have a nibble when you get the urge. Oh, that's all I need. Sugary spit on my décolletage. Where are you off to now? I'm going to have a nice lie down and run myself ragged all day. A lie down in the afternoon? That's not the behaviour of a winner. Oh, hi, Ken. I just wondered how you're getting on with my political campaign. Oh, uh, well, I haven't actually started yet. Well, I didn't really know if you intended carrying on. Well, I mean, look at this face. It's got determination written all over it. It's only three months till the elections. If we want to seize victory, we need to make a start now. Oh, in that case, we'd better schedule something in. Right. Well, Tim's at a loose end, so why don't you two make a start while I'm at work? Well, a little bit of support wouldn't go amiss. I'll bob round later and see what you both come up with. There you go. Coffee, two sugars. Oh, thanks, love. Hey. Mm. 
What do you think of this? Blimey. She's bonny. It's perfect. <laughs> Too perfect. She needs to get a few pies down her. <laughs> mm. I know what you mean. Someone like her, you know, nothing to do with normal women. Kate said something the other day about a lot of models look like they don't own a cooker. <laughs> it's a bit harsh. Hmm. But it got me thinking, though. I thought, why use this lot when we could use a real woman? Someone who other women can relate to. Mm, good idea. Hey, tell Ed. <sighs> like he'd listen to me. Mm. He'd listen to you, though. This is good. Mary with a smile on her face. I'm bouncing back. <laughs> so do you fancy sinking a few in the Rovers tonight? Oh, the Rovers used to be a beacon of friendliness, like a warm hug on a winter's night, but now it's just the epicentre of my shame and humiliation. Come again? It was a place where I was outed as a scarlet woman. Well, get back in there. It's like removing a plaster. I'm not sure my temperament suits a short, sharp shock. <laughs> Mother taught me to swim by pushing me in at the deep end. <laughs> Had water on the lung for nigh on a fortnight. Well, stick with me, I promise. If anyone so much as sneers, I'll knock them dead. Yeah, she will as well. <laughs> what about the children's tea and their homework? Well, Dev was just saying he doesn't spend enough time with them, so you'd be doing him a favour. Oh. <laughs> right. Bye-bye. See you later. Mr. Connor, have you got a minute? Literally, one minute. Oh, well, <clears throat> do you watch much telly? Uh, not really, sports mostly. Did you ever see those adverts where they use real women instead of models? Yeah. I really like them ads because the women in them were just normal. They look like they could be a mate or something. Well, I was thinking... You're a genius. Oh, I don't know about that. Can't finish crossword uh, puzzle. <laughs> real women modelling the new old Just Go range. I'll run it past them, see what they think. Cheers, Sinead. Oh. I suppose we should make a list of what we need to do. A good place to start. Is that your dad? I uh, know. No, that's Uncle Albert. God, he's got a right face on him, hasn't he? Like one of them pugs chewing a wasp. <laughs> well, he could be a bit curmudgeonly. He was the archetypal grumpy old man. So, um, has Sally said anything about the sort of policies she's most interested in? Well, you're into your Shakespeare, aren't you? I went to see one of his efforts once. Sally was trying to get me all cultured. Ah, which play did you see? Oh, it was a right palaver. It was really confusing. Every bird and every bloke loved the wrong person. Then it all kicked off, and then the Queen fell for this donkey man lover. Ah, Midsummer Night's Dream. Midsummer Night's Nightmare, more like. I said to Sally, he must have been on summer when he wrote that. It was totally out there. Yeah, anyway, time marches on. Um, we should make a start. Oh, yeah. I'll just have another brew first. I'm parched. What are you doing this weekend? Oh, just catching up on some paperwork. Boring. We're having a duvet day this Saturday. Binge watch some box sets, get Kirky to feed me marshmallows. Oh, me and Cher's best get out the road then. Don't want to ruin your love fest, do we? Good girl. I shall be working on my campaign. I feel like I've been waiting for this all my life. It's a call to arms. I just want the weekend to be over as quickly as possible. Kaz is coming back on Monday. Aww. I'm only by home tonight, Beth. I've got to wait for a delivery. Okay, babe. Anyone fancy a quick one in the Rovers? Yeah. I work hard and I play hard and when I go out, I want to relax. I just don't want to sit there worrying about my handbag. <clears throat> Change the record. I see no Sally. Just drop it, will you? I'm only saying what everybody else is thinking. Taking a notice. Go to. Doesn't bother me. You still okay to stay late and give the place a proper going over? Yeah, yeah, sure. No worries, nothing else on. Cheers. My Aunt Nelly used to have funny turns. When my Uncle Clive died, she climbed up an oak tree and wouldn't come down. We had to call out the fire brigade. She's fine now, though, as long as she takes her pills. Good. And you? Oh, I don't think I could climb a tree full of the money. <laughs> no, I, I meant, you know... Yeah, I, I know what you meant. I'm OK, thanks. Have you ever thought of getting a pet? Well, I haven't got my own place. I don't think Rita would be best, please. No, it's just... If you stroke a dog, it brings your blood pressure down. It's a fact, that. 
think my blood pressure's fine, thanks. Won't stay that way if Sally keeps having a go. No, she's like a fly buzzing round my head. <laughs> See what you mean? <laughs> you know what happens to flies, don't you? They get swatted. Smashed to smithereens umpteen times. You're an exotic dancer, Rita. It goes with the territory. Mother doesn't trust men. Says they're barely one up from the great ape. Hey, well, she got a point there. I've met a few like that in my time. She told me to always keep my hand on my halfpenny. Well, I think that ship's sailed, love. <sighs> my trouble is I was born in the wrong era. Really? <laughs> I would have made a magnificent Victorian lady. <laughs> All pale and consumptive, swooning whenever I clapped eyes on a man. <laughs> that doesn't sound much fun. Well, fun comes at a price. I may have thrown caution to the wind and become a wanton woman. Hey, steady on. Well, Brendan's gone back to wifey, and I've been used, abused, and cast aside. Oh. <laughs> Fancy. Yeah, it was a bit of a tricky one, but it's sorted now. Oh, cool. Have you got the paperwork? Uh, yeah, it's in the office. I'm not a vindictive person, but I know what she's capable of. I saw what she did to Kevin. Excuse me, I'm the victim here. It's my French fancies that went walk about. Like, we'll ever be allowed to forget it. I'm a double victim. Chunky minister in his soup, thank you very much, and a tenor. Oh, well, I think she's nice. She's got fabulous hair, I'll give her that. Will you let your legs hang, please? You're giving me vertigo up there. Sorry. I need to go in a minute anyway. I've got to meet Leanne at the bistro. Yeah, I need to make a move and all. I'm meeting up with my campaign team. Oh. Um, Get you. Who's on the team? Well, Ken Barlow, he's got his finger on the pulse, political-wise. Is that it? <laughs> Is that your team? Well, Tim's getting involved at grassroots level. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen, if you play your cards right, App and Eccles will get involved too. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Sinead, you've played a blinder. Mm -hmm. The old Driscoll's loved your idea. You've had an idea? To use real women instead of models. Showed it to their marketing guys, they were all over it. Well, actually, it was uh, Johnny's idea. Yeah, but only popped into my head because of something Kate said. It doesn't matter, does it? As long as the client's happy. Maybe when you lot could do it. Ooh. Got to be either. Mm. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Don't about that. <laughs> you know, someone once took me for Dame Helen Mirren's daughter. <laughs> I did a bit of modelling back in the day. I've still got the moves. No, oh, I. Strike a pose. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, never mind real women. That and I should drag up. Oh. <laughs> Don't think the world's ready for that yet, mate. <laughs> Sinead? What? How do you feel about it? What? Me? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not getting my kit off in public. It's all being good taste, nothing tacky. Promise me you'll think about it, yeah? What's there to think about? Go for it. I wonder if it was me. Oh, uh, go on then. Why not? <laughs> I thought you should have finished ten minutes ago. Yeah, well, I've nothing to rush home for. It's I stopping at Ken's tonight. Well, you should make the most of it. Go out, dance around your handbag. Flaming cheek. No, I thought I'd stay behind and try some of this lot, see what you've been doing in that kitchen. Oh, is that cod? Nope, this is lion caught halibut with chive mash. Oh, oh that's fantastic. Mm, could eat about a bucket load, that. All right, what have we having? Halibut or three grain beetroot risotto. Well, it's worth eating beetroot just to turn your wee pink. <laughs> How old are you? OMG. Is that homemade ice cream? Yes, please. Lee was just saying she fancies giving it some on the dance floor tonight. Yeah? I'm up for that. <clears throat> Ow. Ice cream headache. Yeah, well, serves you right. Um, what do you fancy doing then? Do you want to go clubbing? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Been ages since me and you have been out on the lash. Huh, fab. Well, should we go home and get changed then? Well, you can't go out wearing that, can you? Oh. 
Mm-hmm. Save me some of that, because it's really fit. Right, Mr. Braithwaite's coming to pick his car up in the morning. Jack, we make sure Luke cleans it first thing. Sure will. Come on, Jack, we're going on. Oh, so we're done for today, then, because I'm starving. Ty, he's gone. What? Jack? Jack, are you hiding? Dad, I can't find Jack. You what? Well, he was in there, he was colouring. You're joking, I told you not to let him out, you say. I know, I'm sorry. Jenny's not been hanging around today, has she? Well, she works at the factory now, she's always coming and going. Go and check in the house in case he's gone back there. And then check in at Rita's. You check Viaduct Street, I'll check Rosamond Street and again up. Go on. Please tell me you've come to take me away from all this. Uh, not you, no. Mary. Oh, no, I I'm sorry, Erica. I can't abandon ship. The children are running wild. Mm, come on, Dad, show me who's boss. No, yes, they are, of course. <laughs> all right, you brats, behave before I bang your heads together. Uh, well, maybe we should go another time. They'll gang up and overpower him. Not your problem now. Get upstairs, shut yourself up, and let's get going. I have got absolutely nothing to wear. Are you for real? Your wardrobe is bursting at the seams. So is you. <laughs> uh, Eva, listen, about before. Before what? About asking Sinead to do the modelling. You know I couldn't ask you, don't you? It's up to you. You're too good looking. Look, everyone would assume you're a model and we'll be back to square one. I'm not going to tell you what to do. No, honestly. You're stunning. Oh, shall I just go? <sighs> Come on. I would buy a bowl for drink. Can't, I'm sorry, I'm on a girl's night out. Got a book early, babe, I'm in demand. Oh, come on, Eva, put the poor bloke out of his misery. Why don't you go to the bistro, I've one in there first. Go on, then, meet you there in 20 minutes. Jog on. He is totally smitten. Yeah, about pig in time. <laughs> Okay, please. What's up? Do you remember our new wedding? Huh? Dermot and Jimmy had a scrap. Knocked the buffet table over. Still got the photos somewhere. Yeah, the cake ended up on the floor. And his dress got splattered with chocolate from the fountain. You told me to call around so you could have a walk down memory lane. She locked herself in the toilets. Sobbed her heart out. I'm out of it. Oh, your wedding day is supposed to be one of the best days of your life. Family and friends together celebrating. To tell you the truth, I'm dreading mine. If you two are still at each other's throats, maybe I should cancel. You can't do that. Kaz, I'll be gutted. Please, talk to each other. Sort it out. Uh, you'll not be wanting those now you're a top model. Oh, shut up. No, nope. now on, it'll be a diet of black coffee and fags. As if. I love my food, me. Me and it better have got hollow legs. <laughs> Sean, have you seen Liz? I mean, she's meant to be taking over from me. I've got to take Amy to her mates. No, I haven't, and I will not be stepping into the breach either. I am not doing a tap today. Ah, oh, thanks. Where's your babe? Right, come on, best foot forward. Head high. Chest out. I'm going to take the ball by the horns. Yeah. I have very acute hearing. In fact, I've been likened to a bat. So if you're going to talk about me, I'm probably going to hear every word. So why would we be talking about you? I am a god, Mary. What have you done? I've made a fool of myself over a man. Ah, oh. uh, well, don't worry. We've all been there, Cor. Too right we have. What you need is a rebound relationship. Some of take your mind off things. Come on. <laughs> Hello, Mary. It's nice to see you. You've not been in for a while. No. The heartbroken make for very poor company. <laughs> Is this over that? Brandon. Brendan. Well, don't you waste your tears, OK? You can do so much better than him. This one's for you, babes. Missed 
you. I'm so sorry for what happened. I didn't mean to upset you. I wouldn't hurt you for the world. I love you. Oh, I can't wait to hear what you've come up with. How far did you get? Not very far. Ken kept distracting me. Well, luckily, I've scribbled down a few notes. Do you know, I scare myself sometimes. I've got ideas just literally pouring out of me. Oh, that's excellent. I but... don't want to blow my own trumpet, but my brain is like a finely tuned machine. My brain's like a finely tuned machine. Possibly a bacon slicer. Oh, that reminds me, I need to nip on and switch on the slow cooker. Uh, Sally, I take it you've not heard the local news? No. Councillor McCain has been arrested for fraud. <gasps> I knew he was. Half mass pants, little beady eyes, funny shaped head. What do you get up and do when you're victory dances? <sighs> no, it's terrible. I mean, his family must be really upset. There will be a by election in a matter of weeks. Four, to be precise. <gasps> whoa, whoa, that's way too soon, Sal. This is fate, this is. It's smiling down on me. I actually happen to be with Tim on this. We don't have enough time. Then we have to make time. I am going to be ready for this election if it kills me. All right, Jay. Keep looking, mate. Thanks very much. All right, cheers. Bye. Dad, there's no sign of him. I'm sorry. She's taken him. I know she has. I knew we couldn't trust her. You can't make assumptions about anything. Jenny's clothes and everything are still in the flat. Come on, sweetie. Get your hands off him. Give him here now. Oh, Jenny. I was only bringing him home. You might have got away with it before. But this time, I'm going to make sure you get what's coming to you. Coronation Street's back in half an hour.